Kings win. And he's been very productive. Maybe his most productive season since being here. He really has. He's been consistent. I think that's what we've seen out of him. Changing that tempo. Starting to speed up his game. This is what you expect from Wei Yang Chen. He's going to throw strikes. Outside from the really first two uh, outings that he had in the beginning of the season where he gave up uh, six hits and four hits. More hits than innings, uh, more hits than innings pitch respectively. He's a hit for any guy, but he doesn't walk guys normally. Uh, you can see right there the average against. Uh, that's more than manageable because he doesn't put guys on base. You have to earn your way. And when he gets the ball in the ballpark and throws the ball over the plate, he gives you a real good chance to win, and that, hence those numbers with 13 wins. Well, that's just the important one to me is the velocity I, uh, on the yeah, fastball. Yeah, there's a strike to Dozier, so four pitches, four strikes. So when you look at here, at, uh, in 12 and 13, that's a, that's a lot of pitches that he threw. So those numbers are pretty good on the average there. And when you can uptick your velocity a little bit, even if it's a half to three-quarters of, of a mile per hour, then you're doing something over a short period of time. But the curveball going uh, hey, down makes it just as effective against righties as it is against lefties, uh, yeah, and that's yeah. a good pitch for him now. And a swing yeah, and a swing breaking ball. Oh, Minnesota doesn't score. We head to the bottom of the first. Here come the O's. And the 0-1 swung on a miss. Chen in his start May 3rd in Minnesota lasted just five innings. He kept the team in the game, but the Orioles did not win. He allowed three runs, two earned on six hits, and Dozier took him deep for a solo home run. And as you saw, he is 2-1 in his career against Minnesota. He's ahead of Parmalee 0 and 2. And a comebacker, Chin quickly on it. It's a hardy wide throw. He recovers, gets it the first for the double play. And Chen will say, sorry, GG, I got it to you, but maybe on the front side of the back. And he says, thanks for picking advance. Let's get a look at our Jeep inside the numbers, David. It's all about pitching. You certainly know as a former pitcher, July, the Orioles ERA 2.96, August 2.90. One of only three teams with ERAs below three in back to back months. Of course, uh, we hear all about Seattle, we hear all about Tampa Bay, and now the Orioles in that group. Nice to be in that conversation, and, you know, I thought all along this was a good club, and I thought that the rotation was going to be solid. There's nobody that jumps out. There's not a Kershaw, there's not a Verlander in his heyday, there's not a Roger Clemens in his heyday, or a Cy Young. But you know what? There are guys that get the job. We'll get through it, and that's you know, tribute to them as much as anything else. But the way in was solid. He, uh, you know, he had a good look, real good, aggressive, good tempo. Talk of a guy you'd like to have on the mound when it's so hot and sticky as it was today. Fuck the asshole. Any of the pitchers of record, Wei Yin Chen wins his 14th. He's 14 and 4, 3 8 3 earn on average. You know, it's, uh, I think uh, bats came alive. You know, we started uh, putting up a lot of runs, and, um, you know, it was a good, good game by Chen. <laughs> Is it just the normal things you do to stay fresh when you're not playing, just pregame work? And Third home run hit by the Orioles. They have a solo, a free run, and now a grand slam off the bat of J.J. Hardy, his ninth of the year.